Hi, Science Fair friends. I'm so excited to hear about all the wonderful work that you guys are doing to address challenges and solutions for waste management in the Bahamas. My name is Crystal Ambrose, and I am the founder and director of Bahamas Plastic Movement, and I'm here to talk trash. So I study garbage, marine plastic debris to be exact. And a few years ago, I started an organization called Bahamas Plastic Movement. It was started to raise awareness of plastic pollution and to find solutions to this environmental crisis. Many young Bahamian youth are on the front line doing scientific research on this subject and raising awareness of this issue in their communities. But why would anyone want to study plastic waste or solid waste in general? Have you ever wondered what happens to your waste after you throw it away? Every day in the Bahamas, we use thousands of single-use disposable plastic products. These include plastic bags, straws, cups, utensils, styrofoam, and plastic bottles. These products have become a part of our Bahamian culture and a global culture of convenience. On average, these products are used from anywhere between 15 seconds to 15 minutes before they're thrown away, further ending up in landfills or with a very small percentage being recycled. In the Bahamas, most of our landfills lack standard infrastructure to support proper waste management, such as recycling or low-impact incineration. Instead, all of our waste is placed into a pit where it is openly burned, releasing toxic fumes into the atmosphere and neighboring communities. I'm quite sure you've heard about the dump explosions in Nassau, and you can visit Rabble for more information on that. Most waste items, especially plastic products, don't make it into the landfill or to recycling. Instead, it makes its way into the environment, eventually ending up in our oceans. Every year, 8 million metric tons of plastic waste goes into the ocean. And once it is in the ocean, it ends up circulating in currents called gyres. And there are five major gyres in all the world's oceans that trap marine debris. There's an estimated 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic in all the world's oceans. And over 100,000 marine animals and up to 1 million seabirds die annually at the hands of plastic pollution. And that's either through ingestion or entanglement. And by the year 2050, there will be more plastic in the sea than fish. Can you imagine that? But why is all of this happening? It's because of society's obsession with convenience. But fear not, there's something you can do to help prevent this. In the Bahamas, we are surrounded by thousands of miles of beautiful coastlines that are worth protecting. It's time to rethink your relationship with single-use plastic. Refuse to use single-use items like plastic bags, bottles, and straws, you name it. Reduce the amount of plastic items you use by taking your reusable bag, bottle, straw, or cup with you wherever you go. This will reduce your plastic footprint significantly, and I never leave home without my reusables. If you do end up using plastic, find a way to reuse it or repurpose it for another use. And if there's no escaping plastic in your life, lean towards using readily recyclable plastics like ones and twos. These can be things like bottles. Because recycling is few and far between in the Bahamas, the ultimate goal is to cut down on plastic and refuse to use it when and wherever you can. On Abaco, you can recycle plastics one, two, and five at Forest Heights Academy. In Nassau, you can recycle with cans for kids and the New Providence Community Center. And on the island of Eleuthera, you can recycle at sea. The power to create a plastic-free Bahamas with better waste management strategies is in your hands. I challenge each of you to take on the Refuse to Use Challenge. Take a photo of yourself using reusable items in place of single-use plastic items. Post it on our Facebook page using the hashtag Refuse to Use for your chance to win some reusable swag. To learn more about Bahamas Plastic Movement and the work that we do, visit our website at bahamasplasticmovement.org and follow us on social media. But most importantly, remember youth, the power is yours.